Hey everybody. So um, I have a mid-2012 MacBook Pro, uh, 13 inch, uh, the board number 8203115. Um, I actually got two of these that I'm going to work on today. I'm going to show you um, there's two different issues, but uh, really common, first of all. Uh, I've been getting a lot of these in. I can't remember if I've done a video on this in the past, uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and touch uh, on this really quick just to uh, give you guys a little hint on if you're having the same issue, how to diagnose it and tell if it's repairable or not. Um, this, we're, we've been getting a lot of these in. Uh, so what it was sent in for is video distortion. Um, and I'll, I'll show you what's going on. We'll, we'll start it up. So we have the, the uh, Apple logo. But you'll see here, let me get it to do it real quick. See that? So that's what it was sent in for. They said video distortion. Now, of course, it is distorting the video. Um, but the problem is not going to be your GPU or um, any BGA chip on the board. Uh, but unfortunately, it's going to be your RAM bay. Now, the issue with this is um, if there's any pressure applied to the board, uh, it locks up. It gives you video distortion, the lines in the screen, and then it locks up at a restart, at a curl panic. Um, so you'll get these these issues. Uh, the only thing that you can do to fix this, uh, unfortunately, is to remove one of your RAM chips. Now, you can fix it by removing the one that's on the bottom and install one chip on the top of the board. Um, and I'll show you, this, this gets rid of that issue. We'll start it up and we'll add a little pressure to the board again. Wait for the Apple logo to show up. And you see I'm, I'm adding pressure, but it's still continuing to, to boot. There's no uh, video distortion. Uh, and your little uh, loading uh, wheel there is still continuing to load. So um, that's the only way to fix this, unfortunately. Um, you cannot reflow the RAM bay. You cannot replace the RAM bay. Um, it's just not doable. I've tried it many times. I've tried removing the RAM bay from a board and installing it on another board Press the return key. and installing it on another board and it just it's it's not doable it's not gonna fix it I've tried uh, reflowing uh, the RAM bay because you have the top side here is through hole the pins go through the board and are soldered in which makes the top chip um, your best chip the bottom side you have um, a it's not a through hole, it's actually pads on the board and the, the, ram, the RAM bay, the pins are soldered on to the board like with some solder balls. It's kind of like a VGA. Um, and what happens is those solder joints crack and because um, it's not a through hole to the board. And so applying pressure to it uh, is going to cause those joints to separate and, and not make contact anymore and you get that, that freeze or um, video distortion. And um, so I'll show you, I'm going to go ahead and put the chip in the, the bottom RAM bay, it's still just one chip, and I'll show you how it's still, it's going to have that issue now. Wait for the Apple logo to show up, so I'm going to apply, apply pressure to the board, there it goes. So see it's just the RAM bay um, isn't making good contact on the bottom. So unfortunately the only way to fix this is by adding just or just keeping one chip in.